All right, so today I've got another product from the company Chasing. Now this company, if you remember a few videos back, uh, they sent me a underwater drone called the Gladius Mini and uh, it was absolutely freaking incredible. <laughs> and now they got a new product called the Chasing Dory, which is a smaller, more compact version and I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Now I do have to mention that Chasing did send me this review copy for free, but I'm not being paid to make this review. So in this video, I'm literally gonna unbox it quickly, show you around, and then I'm gonna pop out and well, chuck it in some water and see how well it performs really. So how about we crack it open right now? I'm super excited. I mean, just look at this box, absolutely fantastic. It looks beautiful. All right, so, oh. oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just the packaging is so nicely. Oh God, look, okay. This is amazing. All right, this is probably not very PG, the sounds I'm making. <laughs> but all right, what do you get in the box? Of course you get the actual drone itself. I'll crack that open in a second. You get, uh, I think this is gonna be a structure manual and cables and things like that. What else? So if you don't know, this product is now live on Kickstarter. You can actually pick up a Chasing Dory at an incredibly low price. Uh, so definitely worth, if you're interested in getting an underwater drone, this is the opportunity. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But anyway, so you get the Wi-Fi module basically. So just like the other one, we had a router or router if you're in America. Um, and this is basically the Wi-Fi module. So this stays above ground, this stays in, uh, you know, out of the water. You get the cable that ties it all together as so. You get a bunch of other cables to, you know, connect things together. So a power brick and a charger. And then you get, as you can see, all the different world plugs. So this is the British plug. You got the European plug, plug here. What else we got? Ooh. You got the American, I think. I think this is North America. And that looks almost identical. I'm sure there's a difference, one of them. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. And then I don't even know. Maybe that's the American one. I'm not entirely sure. But basically you get a plug for every place in the world. So don't worry, no matter where you're from, you'll be able to charge it. And that's basically all you get. Because this is, like I said, the compact version. This is all the necessary stuff. So let's crack open the actual chasing dory itself. I want to keep this part quite short so I can actually go out and show you. Oh God, look at it. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Let me put all this to the side, all this stuff that we don't really care too much about. Let me put all that to the side. This is the chasing dory. Now, first impressions, of course, it's absolutely tiny. Look at it. It's about, it's just a bit bigger than my hand and I've got quite small hands for a man. So <laughs> this is uh, genuinely very, very tiny. Um, next to an iPhone. So this is the XS. This is not the big one. This is the rather standard size iPhone. As you can see, you know, this is a pretty small, small machine. And this is capable of going underwater and recording 4K video. You got the two bright LED lights at the front here. You got the camera there. And then you got all the vents. And what I really like is that they've actually protected the vents, you know, so things can't get sucked up into it. Things that are, are too big that might damage the propellers. Can't get any, can't get sucked up into it. So that's really cool. You got two at the back here. You got two at the front here and one in the middle just here. So again, five vents just like the uh, just like the Gladius Mini you got the port this time the port to connect it to the Wi-Fi module is actually at the back so it's more streamlined it's more agile I think this is going to be seriously quick in the water because the Gladius Mini which I'll also be popping out and testing today as well so I'm going to be doing a huge underwater test of all different <laughs> of the Gladius Mini and the Dory um, but I'll be showing that in a different video uh, so yeah this is pretty damn, I mean, the build quality is absolutely beautiful. But enough about the build quality, enough about the actual styling. How about we go out 
and give it a proper good test. I am super excited. Now I do want to say that in the UK, the waters in natural lakes are not the most clean. Uh, you know, you're not gonna get, it's not like the Maldives where you've got the beautiful turquoise coral reefs and you know, beautiful snorkeling water. That's, that's not what we have unfortunately in the UK. Unfortunately in the UK, we have muddy, dirty water and potentially a few dead bodies, but that's about practically it. So, uh, <laughs> So unfortunately, you know, a product like this can't be used to its full potential where I live. But now that it's so small and compact, I, whenever I go on holiday, you better be sure I'm taking this bad boy with me. This can fit in any backpack, nice and easy, on hand luggage, no problem. It weighs hardly anything, but it's quality built. So yeah, let's go ahead, pop it out, and give it a good test. I'm just gonna set up the chasing dory. Right here. Now the water of this lake is not particularly good, unfortunately, so I'm not entirely sure how good footage will come, but it should be alright. In order to make this chasing dory actually be able to control it, it doesn't come with a remote, so it all gets controlled via your phone. So you're going to download their app. Once it's downloaded, you'll be able to hook up to the chasing dory and basically control it all from your phone as well. So I gave it a good test in the lake. Now, unfortunately, the waters here in the UK are, well, very murky, as you could probably see. Um, it's just not clear water, and there is no clear water lake anywhere nearby where I live, unfortunately. Um, so I couldn't test it to the full degree uh, that I hoped. However, I could see the camera quality. I could see how easy it was to control. Um, and this thing is pretty darn amazing. Uh, it's currently live on Kickstarter right now. I will leave a link to it in the description. Uh, and you can pick it up at a really reduced cost if you're an early supporter, which I highly recommend. If you have any reason why you would need a product like this, then look no further. Um, it all gets controlled via your phone. You don't need any more a separate, uh, separate controller. It's all done through the app on your phone. Um, it's really easy, really intuitive to control. Uh, it's nice and quick, it's fast, it's everything that you really want. And it, all the files save directly to your device as well. So it's, it's perfect for, you know, putting in your backpack if you're going on holiday. Uh, you could probably catch some really cool footage, you know, especially if you're going somewhere that has really nice uh, lakes or oceans or so forth. Um, this is a really cool product. So that's the Chasing Dory. I do want to thank Chasing, the company itself, for sending me this review product. Uh, I had a real blast playing around with it. Um, and yeah, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's live on Kickstarter. Do go ahead and support this company. I really do think that they produce some really good quality stuff and I'm really excited about the future th uh, products that they will be uh, coming out with because this is, I mean, just look at it. It's pretty darn cool. There is still a bit of water on there, <laughs> but yeah such a cool product so yeah guys if you haven't yet subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button also hit that bell icon so you never miss any of my new uploads i've got a lot more stuff to unbox and review so i hope you stick around um but yeah other than that thank you for watching and until next time feed your mind